Over the past three days, we have packed up a ton of gear and our four boys, drove five hours into the interior of Alaska, and camped to embark on an epic five-day family float trip on the Golcana River. If you missed part one, you can go back and see all the preparations, but for now, let's get everything ready and get on the river. It is about 8.30 in the morning. We are just now pumping up our boat. Mark is gonna go back up to the campsite, pick up his parents and their boat, bring all their gear down, and then we'll let you know what time it is by the time we actually get on the lake. Takes a bit of work to get going in the morning when you have to blow up the raft. And um, we got a lot of gear. All right, now that we have the boat all blown up, we gotta get all this stuff loaded in and then net it down so it doesn't get lost. When loading the boat, you have to keep in mind things that you won't need until you're camping the next night and then other things that you will need to be able to get into throughout the day. So you don't wanna pack the things you need to get into on the bottom of the boat. So we have one bag full of just all our sweatshirts and jackets and things that we can get into so we don't have to get into our clothes bags until we get in the tent. Same with our snacks are in a bag that we can get them out really easy. But um, yeah, you have to think about those things. All right, first fish of the trip. Oh. Oopsies. I got it, I got it. A little graving. Can you show the camera, Everett? Yeah. You see how it has this fin on its back? Yeah. Yeah, okay, put it back in the water. Say bye, fishy. Oh, he swam off, so happy. Are you guys ready? Oh, we're ready. Three, Here, well, hold on, hold on. Okay. three two, one. You ready to float? Yeah. Yep, yeah. ready to go across the lake. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna put, get anyway, get what time is it? It is 10. Okay. 10.37. 10.37, all right. So what we're gonna be doing here is we are in Paxson Lake and it's about four miles across till you get to the Golcana River. And we do have a motor to help us get across the lake and then you put the motor away after that and then it's just a rowing river and we're gonna tie our two boats together to get across the lake and we're just excited to be out on the water it's much cooler out here i have a blue uh, rope right there all right it's just about noon and we are finally getting across the lake we can see the river the motor had a little bit of trouble, but got us here. And we're ready to catch some fish and start this road, start this raft trip. We already did the road trip. I already did the road trip. You want one what? I want a fishy. You want to catch a fish? Yeah. Sure. But what if I want? Oh, oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, keep going. Go, don't slide out. Open it. Okay, we got it. We got your fish. We got your fish. This is the biggest Here, one we it. caught. Hold that. Hold that. Right at us. Nice. Ooh, nice grayling. So over the next few hours, we fished a lot. All right, for our first lunch on the river, we're having these turkey lettuce tomato wraps. Very yummy. Three, two, one. Oh, good job. Okay, let it, West, ever hold it. Let ever hold it. Yeah, I know how to hold it. Ooh. Kiss it. Hold it sideways so we can see it's pretty thin. Here, like this. Hold it this way. Look, 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 look. <gasps> wow. Oh. Oh, good job, buddy. Ooh, another boat. Nice. Wow, another good one. Yeah. Look at that fin. Fishy number four for Weston, all on his own. Kiss it. Send it back. Ah, this one is definitely my fattest one of the day. All on your own again, huh? This one. That one's a fatty. That's the twin to the one I just caught. Here, you got some help? There was some boat in this on this trip. The little guy who never takes naps is out. 
The water is quite low this year, so we keep getting stuck on rocks, and a bunch of us have to jump out and oh, get we're us good off. Right now. So we're, we're, we're floating right now, but it's been a lot of work. At several points today, the bugs, when we stop, have been kind of bad. So we've got these bug nets that we put over our heads, and then we have a bug tent. You can see it up there. Grandma's cooking dinner in there. And you're in there and you're like, oh, the bugs aren't so bad. And then you come out and you're like, oh, they are bad. That's okay. We're having a good time. We're all a bit tired because it was really low water and we had to keep jumping out of the boat and pushing it off of rocks and things. So I think we're all gonna be ready to sleep tonight, except for Everett who took an hour nap. I had no idea that any of that chaos was going on. But we're here, we're glad to be in our first camping spot and we're excited to eat dinner. Great. And then like, great. This is an Alaska wood frog. They pretty much freeze through the winter Stop and then come back to life. We can't see I just it. Don't even understand how that's possible. I don't know. I don't either, but how do you know? Crazy. Good find, Bennett. Good morning. It's morning number two. We're having breakfast burritos. You may have seen us make those in a previous video came in really handy to bring along, so we just warm them up in the skillet. Ready for another day of floating. Just uh, putting on our morning perfume. Lovely. The thing about raft trips that is a bit different than just camping trips is every night you have to take everything, put it all away, and put it back on the boat. So I'm in here putting away all the camping pads and the sleeping bags back into these dry bags so we can load up the boat again and go. All right, it's day two of our rafting trip. We've had a blast. We've probably caught like 50 grayling and, and 20 trout or so, so far um, yesterday. Just having a great time. Today, we're planning on eating fish tonight. So we have a coconut curry uh, fish sauce that we're gonna make and cook it. So it should be a blast and just delicious. This might be a good one for dinner. All right, we caught this grayling and Bennett's going to cut its head off and um, gut it and um, get it ready to put, to cool off for dinner tonight. Okay, rinse it out. It's a little old trapper cabin up there. That's... That door frame is so big. Yeah, it is. Bent. It's definitely becoming part of the landscape. Oh, Westy, please don't cast next to my head. Very cool. Reminds me of Call of the Wild. Huh. What have you been like living in that thing in the winter out here? Wow. And you didn't have a All right, Bennett. Ooh, nice and grayling. Yeah. What's up? I'm hot. You're hot? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Okay, we can take care of both of those. Look, there's a, there's a moose in the water. Sit up on the front and watch it. So cool. Moose, 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 moose. It's snorkeling. Thank you for the show, is that what you think? <laughs> That's cute. Today's um, lunch is a sophisticated Lunchable. This is Mark's Moose Summer Sausage, it's so yummy. Some cheese, some crackers, and then I have a bunch of veggies that I'm gonna set out for people. boys that couldn't take the heat wave anymore. Woo! Okay, Weston! Let go! <laughs> You're doing great! Okay. 
Everett did not want to be left out. We have been on a very long, slow section for the last couple of hours. Mark's getting worn out from rowing. Hunter's over there rowing for Grandma and Grandpa. We're making up weird games here in the boat to keep ourselves occupied. We have caught more fish than we can count today. Grayling, lots of rainbow trout. Had a lot of fun doing that. Grandma just caught a fish, I hear. Oh, kitties love fish. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Ah. It is about 5.30 on day two of floating. We found a camping spot. It's hot. We have hungry kids. So we're happy to be getting off the river. It's a little bit of a steep thing up here, but we're getting the kitchen set up. You get some dinner going. So when we were planning for this trip, we had to think about lightweight and using things around us. So fish was a perfect option for one dinner. This powdered coconut milk was so easy to just add water and some onion and some curry powder and we have a delicious sauce to complement our fish and rice. We're about ready to eat. Just a few more minutes, guys. Coconut milk, curry. Curry powder? Yummy. So where's the water bottle? Yummy. I give one to your mom. We're at the point in the trip where we are out of, of the water that we got at the campsite. Um, we actually ran out earlier today, so we are in the process of pumping river water through this filtration system. So we get it in a pot there, and then it goes into our water bottles. So we're filling them all up tonight. The boys actually already each did like half an hour of pumping, and we were all so thirsty that we drank those. So now we're doing round two. After two days of extreme heat, we woke up to rain. So today has been a complete change in our priorities of keeping everybody dry instead of keeping everybody from being too hot. So the Mark's out there getting everybody in their rain gear and their waders so that they stay dry. I am in the tent putting away all of the sleeping bags and pads, but it's just gonna be a different day today, but we'll still have a good time especially once we get going. One thing that we have done in the past to make sure that we can go on trips like this is when kids get old enough that they don't need as many toys for birthdays, which they never need a lot of toys, but um, we've asked grandmas and grandpas to pitch in towards sleeping pads and good sleeping bags that they can use for the next 10 years, 20 years, whatever. Um, so each of the kids now all have a really good sleeping bag and we're still working up to each of them having a pad but it has been great way for us to build up our camping gear so mark just brought me our day's bag worth of snacks i wasn't sure how this would work but it's been awesome this is the snacks we have for the day and then i have a few snacks left from yesterday and the day before but not much like that's two days worth of extra stuff so we went through a lot yesterday the thing that we've really loved is I, each day I put a box of like, it's called Crystal Light Pure to add into our water. And that has kept us drinking more because all of us were on the verge of getting dehydrated yesterday. So that was very helpful. So that goes into this bag, which sits, it's a dry bag also, but it keeps, we keep this right on hand so we can get things in and out of it. It's got our toilet paper in it our camera gear, and then our snacks for the day. Look at all those mosquitoes. Uh -oh. All cleaned up. Everett got a new rain suit and he's getting to put it to use today. Do a twirl. Let us see how awesome it is. Woohoo! 
And tell us what you found. Uh, a walkie talk. Yeah, he's got that. Yes, and it has been so much fun, huh? Well, speaking of birthdays, today we have a birthday in our family. Weston! Weston! Can you wave? Oh, he's on the back of the boat. Weston Happy birthday! Has seven today. Happy birthday, buddy! Five day long birthday party. Five day long birthday party, he just said. A family party. On the river. Yeah, you turned four. We showed your birthday. Ooh, we're in for a rainy day. Yeah. I had fifty. Okay. Hi. You scratch your head. Oh. You scratch your head. All right, we have made it to the canyon. This section, we have to do a portage. So we have to take most of the gear out of the boat and carry it to the bottom so that if something were to happen, we wouldn't lose all our stuff. And it just makes the boat lighter so that Mark can steer it better. So we're gonna take a bunch of bags on our backs and head down. Okay, go. I'll, as long as I can reach you. Oh. All right, you got all the boots in the way. Oh. Took us 11 minutes. All right, we have most of our stuff here including the birthday boy. We did two or three, some of us did three trips. Some of us did one, some of us did two to get all our stuff over here. And then Mark is gonna run the boats down. He doesn't feel like it's very safe this time, so he's not gonna load the boats full of people. We're gonna go try and catch him going down at least the middle part. Here come Dad and Bennett down the river in Grandma and Grandpa's boat. They'll come next. I got Weston and Everett here watching with me. We're playing classes. Okay, let's just watch them go. Yeah. Say a little prayer that they're safe. Yeah. Was it scary? No. This fun? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad. Glad you guys made it safe. Hi. A little more excitement than I wanted. Yeah. I around backwards there. It didn't look like that was what you had planned. No, it wasn't. I was trying to go to the right, and then it just wasn't going, and I had to just go, so I didn't get pinned. Just sucked you in backwards. But no, I spun it, so oh. I didn't get pinned on that on that rock. We were going to get pinned, so I just spin it. That was my escape. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else go fine? Yeah. That's just the tricky spot. That's the worst spot. Everything else is no problem. So I might get stuck. Well, I'm glad you guys made it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you stuck oh, So I gotta get one more. It's gonna be trickier. That boat is a lot easier to row, that red one. Okay, I'll go do it. Here they come! Oh, they're coming in hot and free! Go down these fun shoots. Oh, 
They got stuck on a rock a little bit. Spin them around. All right, here they go. Uh-oh, go, 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 go. Go, go. Good job. We've had lunch. We made one big thing of hot cider and another one of these full of hot cocoa to take with us on the river. Uh, we've found that it's too hot, so we gotta do it in the cap. All right, so we have Grandma up ahead in her one-person pack raft, and then Grandpa and Hunter are coming down behind. A bit more rock and rapids in this section of the river. Everett is playing a game on his walkie-talkie where he communicates with his friend Jojo and tells him what to do in Minecraft. Oh, we're stuck on a rock. Oh, flipping around. Oh. That was me. All right. Woo, good job, Bennett. Get to the side. Roll no, on back there, Weston. Last two. Watch out, Weston, for these rocks. Watch out, there's a sweeper. We got a sweeper. Watch out, hold on, there's a rock we're going to hit. This side, Bennett, Bennett. Get on the high side. Get on the high side. Get over here, Everett. We're coming up on a broken canoe. Oh, it's around. Oh, my goodness. About. Oh, man. Somebody had a really bad day. Oh. Hopefully, they had a bunch of people with them to help them get out. You know, that's the second canoe that I've seen here. When you and I rafted the river 10 years ago, there was a metal one I remember wrapped around a rock. But we still have 30 miles to go. It is night number on the river. We chose to be on a gravel bar. I'll put this back on. I'm being attacked. We chose to be on a gravel bar tonight um, just for a little bit easier camping and so we could have a big fire. So I will show you our campsite and grandma is making what she calls moose ratatouille. Smells great and we're going to enjoy the warmth of this campfire and try and dry out. We're all pretty damp from today. You guys, these dry bags are incredible. They're nothing really expensive. I know you can get really expensive ones, but a full day of floating in the rain and splashy water today. And we have dry sleeping bags and dry clothes. It's so nice to be able to change into something dry. So I am setting out all the sleeping bags, getting out all the pads so we can play Tetris again tonight and figure out where everybody can sleep. All right, what's in here, Linda? This is canned mousse. Eggplant, green pepper, onions, tomato sauce, and um, let's see, bay leaf, and zucchini, zucchini, and um, let me think, one more thing, a little bit of sugar, and aniseed. Well, no, 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 is it fennel? Fennel. Smells. Ratatouille, moose ratatouille. Smells wonderful. All right, how's the dinner? Good. Mm, they're loving it. Mm, going back for seconds. Not too bad for three days on the river, huh? And a smiley face. Oh, it does look like a little smiley face. And I am in. We sang on the boat too. And in the middle. And in the middle is a sparkly cat. Wait, oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. It's going to be hard to blow them out. It's like... <gasps> yeah, you spread them way out. Oh, I'm loving it. Happy birthday, dear Weston. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Whoa! Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Weston. We love you. Happy birthday. I have a 
chocolate burrito. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, tonight we are hoping that it does not rain a bunch and um, we can get things dried out. We got some drying around the campfire. Look at this. What I mean. The birthday boy. I made this. He's making a bowl out of the tinfoil from his brownies. The goal is to have things dry so we can put it back on tomorrow because we really brought minimal gear and we don't have extra rain jackets and sweatshirts and things. We have extra clothes, but just one pair each. We see a little bit of blue sky. We're hoping that means sunshine tomorrow instead of rain. Fingers crossed. All right, we weren't so lucky. We've got some storm clouds rolling in, so we're gonna try and clean things up. And we have one, hold on a second. We have one last present for Weston to put this on the fire. <laughs> and the top. Yeah, there you go. We okay. summon the magical flames of the okay. guardians. Oh. 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 What do you think? Oh. Wow. Is this is like a bomb. Oh. Oh. oh, sorry, that was just big. There's purple. Down That's there. so cool. Oh, yeah, there's some blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, pretty. Let's put logs on. Ooh. Happy birthday. That is so cool. Green. You should need three pieces on so I can get bigger. I think one is. All right, I think we need to take stuff in before it rains. It's starting. Okay. Well, so much for our hopes that it wasn't going to rain anymore. Can you hear that? Oh, I I was on my camera not talking to you. <laughs> Mark said, yep, I'm in it when I said that. It is really pouring. It's so much. We're like in a tsunami. Yeah. No, wait, they're not in a tsunami. In a... Um, Monsoon, a monsoon. What a monsoon. Monsoon is a really bad rainstorm. That's kind of what it feels like being in a tent. Man, it was so nice. Well, I'm just glad we got we were dry while we were having dinner and stuff. And having your birthday. Stuff. Okay, we're going to brush teeth and we're going to go to bed. Why are you sad? Because I didn't get to see that flames that much. Okay, so he only got to see the flames for a couple minutes. So we're going to have to go on Amazon and order some more because that rainstorm came so fast. We didn't get to watch it as long as we would like. So Mom, we will make sure much. we take care of it. Buy this much. Buy that much? Yeah. Oh, wow. For everyone in the city to see it. Oh, that's a cool idea. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. All right, it's morning four on the river. We were really hoping that the rain would pass in the night, but it rained all night and is still raining this morning. So everybody had to get back into their wet rain gear and wet, I don't know. It's a tough mixture between, you know, the first two days were so hot, you don't want to be wearing all your fleece stuff while it's hot, it's too hot. Um, so we packed stuff for those kind of weather and then we packed for this kind of weather too, but um, Maybe not quite enough. We needed a few more sweatshirts and stuff. So I've given Hunter my sweatshirt and my extra raincoat. And um, just trying to make sure the kids are as comfortable as possible today. I'm in the tent again. I decided to clean up all the sleeping bags and stuff before I got out. Because once I get out, I'll be in my waders and I'll be all wet. I wouldn't want to get back in the tent here. So hopefully this weather will pass. There's about 20-something miles left, which is a lot. So we're just trying to decide we're gonna decide as the day goes on if we're gonna camp one more night on the river the plan was to do 15 miles today and then just do five miles tomorrow when, and get out and have time to drive home so we'll see if we go with the original plan or if we push through those last five miles and probably just camp at the pullout so that we can get up and go early tomorrow morning we'll see we're just we're on the we're just on the verge of having more wet things than we do have dry things. So that's camping in Alaska for you. All right, we're just getting everybody's life jackets on, getting the boats ready to go. This is just finished up packing up camp. This looks like a regular old gravel bar now. Not a party. And we're gonna get going. All right, there are two eagles up in that tree, and then there's a big nest there next to them. Oh, I thought 
We stopped and had lunch on a riverbank. We had some salmon, can, uh, some jarred, some charred salmon on some bagels with cream cheese. We've spent the whole afternoon playing word games on the boat. And these kids have been entertaining themselves with a Leatherman. We should be around 35 miles in at this point. We have been lucky to just have little sprinkles today and no real rain, so we're not too wet, but we are a little bit cold. Last night. It did rain really hard last night, yes. Okay. We are coming up on a fish counting station. We'll show you that when we get there. So the Department of Fish and Game has a fish counting station here on the uh, the river. And to, uh, to do it, what they've done is they put down some white plastic under the bottom of the river and then they count the fish as they go across. It's kind of low tech, but I think they probably have some college interns that take care of it. And we're just approaching it. So they have lights and somehow they do it at nighttime as well. And they do that to gauge the strength of the salmon runs. This, uh, the red salmon, the sockeye salmon, or the Chinook king salmon. And um, so unfortunately the counts are really low right now for kings. So it's been closed. We've seen a bunch in the river, which has been fun, but based on these counts, um, that's how they manage the fisheries to keep them sustainable for year after year. <laughs> All the water. anticipation. You made it look cute. <laughs> I thought it was a bar. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But it does mean that we're getting closer to the end. Hunter went over and is rowing the boat for Grandma and Grandpa over there. Well, these three crazies about swamp us with their crazy behavior. I think we're losing our mind. Alright, it's the end of day four. We found our camp spot on a gravel bar for the night. We are about five miles from takeout. 5.30, so we gotta stop and get everyone fed, which starts with setting up the bug tent so we don't get eaten alive. We are counting our blessings that we get a break from the rain while we set up camp and make dinner. We've got our clothesline here, Grandma and Grandpa's tent here. They're making a fire down there. Got this awesome smooth stew and somehow found the perfect temperature for making quesadillas. They just like are beautiful and crisp. And then we have our tent over there. And then all right, dinner is ready. We've got about seven miles left to go today. It has been a lot of fun. We felt very grateful that last night the sun came out. And we had a front really, really nice, <coughs> had a really nice fire. And then um, <clears throat> a good night's sleep. Ready to float these last few miles. Hopefully pull out of the river by lunchtime. And then we have to go shuttle cars and go pick up our van at the other end of the river while Mark and his dad and all the boys um, <clears throat> unload the boat take all the pieces apart, then by the time we come back, we'll be able to load it all and head home. In all reality, this has been a wonderful trip, but it has been about 50% fun and enjoyment and 50% misery and hard work, but that's just how things go in life. Um, we have had, overall had a good time, but there have been, it's a lot of work to to do things like this. I want the big we are big back big on the water. Weston. What are you doing? You trolling? All right, Hunter's rowing. Grandma and Grandpa's boat. I need a battle boat. Suckers, we're using the motor. 
Weston's helping. Weston's helping dad, bro. Hey, you ready? And Everett, ready? Everett? And we grow potatoes, and we grow, grow potatoes, and we peel potatoes, and we peel, peel potatoes, and we mash potatoes, and we mash, mash potatoes, and we grow bananas, and we grow, grow bananas, and we peel bananas, and we grow bananas, and we go, grow bananas, and we grow, grow bananas, and we grow tomatoes, and we grow, grow tomatoes, and we chop tomatoes, and we chop, chop tomatoes, and we do the salsa. <laughs> and we grow the corn. And we grow, grow the, the corn. corn. And we grow the corn. And we husk the, the corn. corn. And we husk the corn. And we pop the corn. And we pop up the corn. We pop. And we pop. Pop, pop the corn. Pop. I'm glad I didn't do Pop, pop the corn. Why you got that in the water? I was. All right, we've been waiting to see this bridge that goes over the Golcana River. It is the Alaska Pipeline. It carries crude oil from the North Slope to Valdez. And it also marks very, very close to the end of our trip. So we are excited to see it. Are you ready to be done? Are you ready to be done? Yes, we are. Yes, 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 yes. Are you ready to be yes, done? Yes, Are you ready to be done? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. On the final stretch. The takeout is right up the hill. And out. Around the hole. Yay, 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 yay. All right, Mark and the boys are going to stay here and take the boat down. And Grandma and I are going to go get the van. I had to get a key to unlock the fuel pump here. We are just at Myers Lake Roadhouse, probably about 25 miles from where we took out of the river. We're going back towards our car. So, kind of a small town set up here. It took Grandma and me an hour and a half to shuttle the van back to the boys. We packed up the van and headed into the nearest town of Glen Allen. If you've been on our channel before, you know that I love to go into small town Alaska grocery stores to check out their prices. The prices in Glen Allen are some of the highest I have seen since starting this series, so be sure to come back and check it out. Until then, check out one of our other adventures or shopping trips here on the channel. Despite being really stinky and tired, the five hour drive home was gorgeous. We hope that you enjoyed coming along on the Volcana River and getting a taste of this Alaska life. We'll see you again soon.